Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I'm recording this video is 1st of August 2023. I'll be talking what 31st of July that is yesterday has taught me in life. Yesterday uh, I suffered from uh, some minor illness uh, in my routine life. Uh, what could I have prevented it? How it happened? I'll be discussing in this video. Also in this video, I'll be discussing one important news about uh, health research. Scientists have been able to uh, provide sensation and help a paralyzed man to have some movement of his hands with the help of artificial intelligence. Now that's very good achievement and good use of artificial intelligence. How they have achieved it, I'll be discussing in this video. And about the trending news, uh, there, is a, there is one uh, 11 year old girl in Australia. She is already a millionaire. Uh, she, she is a part of a company uh, who is, who de which deals with toys and she has decided to retire at the age of 12. Yes, you heard it right. At the age of 12 years, she has decided to retire from her toy business and focus more on the studies. So what is that? Uh, I'll be discussing in this video. Uh, so stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about that. <clears throat> about the most important uh, lesson I got from yesterday's life I was uh, suffering uh, since morning yesterday uh, with some acidity or some indigestion and uh, in during the day uh, I had to travel so after traveling also I was involved during uh, the whole day in my routine uh, hospital work and routine work I was getting signals from my body that I, something is not good. I could have uh, taken more precautions to prevent further uh, problems. Uh, late night yesterday because of uh, that uh, I had significant uh, weakness and uh, acidity. Now, now I am quite well and quite okay I would say. But what it taught me the most important lesson is that uh, our body tries to give small small signals whenever it is in trouble whenever we have uh, some uh, our own body issues or something is not so good in our health we do tend to get those signals from our body we must immediately take action on that uh, before uh, that problem increases more and it causes more damage so yesterday it, it wasn't like i got a very high uh, very uh, large problem in my health but I could have prevented that small pro smaller problem to become a larger problem. Uh, it disturbed my sleep uh, last night, uh, the issues which I had during the day. If I could have uh, treated those issues uh, in time, though I am a doctor and I know what type of uh, problems I am having and I know somewhat better than any uh, regular patient or a non-medical patient. But still being a doctor also, sometimes we tend to ignore uh, our own body signals and we tend to uh, focus more on uh, our routine life or whatever daily uh, work we are supposed to do. So that should not happen and probably that was the most important lesson I got. <clears throat> what is your opinion about that? There is a very beautiful uh, book uh, in Marathi by Dr. Uh, Bum. Uh, is that Mahaza Sakshatkari Urdai Rok. Now in that uh, book that author has uh, very nicely told, explained how he was getting small small signals from his body and which later on almost one year, two years after those signals he got heart attack. So it's, it's the same scenario I am trying to discuss. Our body gives us some time. Uh, we come to know there is something is not good in our routine life or in our health. If we take right action at the right time we can definitely uh, solve th that issue uh, in a better way and it will uh, definitely save our time it will definitely save our uh, health to become deteriorate, deteriorate from that point so that was it uh, you do uh, I, I request you to do uh, search about that and read that book Maza Sakshatkari Rudero uh, yesterday's events reminded me of that because Similar thing happened during the day I was getting uh, small small signals and I ignored those signals and didn't treat those proper uh, minor issues in health because of that I had to actually uh, suffer and uh, it was quite a disturbed sleep uh, last night 
because of uh, various indigestion and GIT issues. Now I am quite well. Uh, what is your opinion about your daily life lessons? Do tell me in the comment box. What are you people learning from your daily life? Do tell me in the comment box. If you are liking these discussions, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. About the most important news I came across yesterday is very interesting. It, it's about health research. Now scientists have been able to uh, help a paralyzed man who was suffering from paralysis from almost three years with the help of artificial intelligence. Now what they have done, they have done uh, some neural uh, pathway research where they have fixed some artif artificial microchips in the patient's brain. A 45 year old person has been helped with this technology and uh, various MRIs were done to map what area of that person is becomes active whenever he wants to uh, do hand movement or leg movement like that and that a paralyzed man has been able to move his limbs and have a sensation of the upper, upper limb and lower limb sensation with the help of artificial intelligence. We all know uh, last one or two years uh, artificial intelligence is the talk of the town or talk of the world you can say. <clears throat> this artificial intelligence can be used in a very positive way. So that is uh, the most important lesson uh, we all can get from that news and I'll be sharing link in the description box if you want to read more about that uh, news please uh, go to the description box and click on the link so what is uh, the future of artificial intelligence we cannot predict exactly but we can definitely say that artificial intelligence would be uh, there in our homes in our daily routine life also plus it would be a part of uh, our life just like our mobile so you cannot escape artificial intelligence in future you cannot say i will be living uh, my life uh, freely <clears throat> and i will not be a part of uh, the person who is, who is using artificial intelligence you will definitely have to use it one way or the other in future then better we learn more and more things about art artificial intelligence because that is the future of technology we are going to use just like 20 years back nobody would have imagined that every person in almost every person in our city or country uh, would be having a mobile with this technology and android mobiles and uh, so many technologies will be used in the mobile so similarly the future is artificial intelligence included you cannot escape artificial intelligence and this uh, news about helping a person with a paralysis to gain his strength and to move his limbs and to have sensation of all his lower limbs and upper limb despite having paralysis is really an encouraging thing. About the most trending news I came across yesterday is very interesting. It's about 11 year old uh, girl child. Uh, her name is Curtis. Uh, she has been a millionaire before the 12 years old birthday. Uh, she is having, uh, she is going to have 12th birthday soon and she has declared her retirement. Now imagine at the age of 12 years, she is retiring from her profession. Her profession is, she is a part of a company which deals with toys and various uh, cosmetic products. And she has decided to uh, focus more on the studies and rather uh, she is retiring from her business. So that's very uh, astonishing news I would say at the age of 12 years she has been a millionaire that's very appreciable and plus in that on their 12th birthday she she has planned to celebrate uh, that birthday in a big way with uh, all the guests would be uh, getting a significant amount of uh, goodie bags which will contain various uh, skincare products etc she's from Australia I'll be sharing link in the description box. If you want to read more about that, please uh, go to the description and click on the link. These are very encouraging stories, I would say. Can you imagine what we, pe we people were doing at the age of 12? We were probably, most of us probably were not earning any rupee uh, at the age of 12. And here is a, a girl from Australia who has already been a millionaire at the age of 12. And she is planning to retire from her routine uh, company work at on 12th birthday and she wants to focus on the studies. 
so these are very uh, encouraging and inspiring stories i would say if you want to read more please go to the description i hope you people are liking all these discussions if you really like please share these uh, videos with the people you know please share these encouraging videos and make them, ask them request them to subscribe to the channel for today we'll stop here bye bye